So today, Kuli and I want to show you how you can get started with a turn on the forehand. And it's a really useful exercise to basically, you know, implement the obedience to the leg aids and to show the horse that there are many different variations on that subject. And to begin with, I would suggest that you position yourself in a halt somewhere next to a fence or a rail. And we're going to do it right here now, breathing out halting and so the the idea is that we want the horse to swivel his haunches in this case going to the left around his front end the front end front feet should be fairly stationary other than the small movements that are necessary to you know swivel around but the hind end is the one that needs to actually move in this in this um, exercise so in order to make the horse understand that i'm going to put my outside leg which you can't see right now a little bit farther back my inside leg my left leg stays by the girl rate and my right shoulder will go back a little bit which i if i have a circular rein connection if when my right shoulder goes back my right hand goes back which causes the horse to be slightly flexed to the right but not bend so it's really important that you keep your horse in a straight line in front of you and behind you and just have a little flexion which means the horse's um, pole is slightly slightly bent to the outside i can see um, coolie's eyelashes and so i'm going to start here i'm going to try and make him understand that we want to do this very gradually little by little it's not about speed in this case it's like as you can see i'm encouraging every little stride every little step and there it is and as soon as we have you know completed this 180 degree turn i relax my muscles and nothing else is happening so i'm going to go take him forward a couple of steps here and then breathe out again knee pressure a little squeeze on the reins for the halt and then again we're going to do it to the other side now my outside left goes back outside leg goes back my left leg goes back a little bit i'm going to try and keep a little bit of knee pressure so that he understands that i don't want him to go forward and i'm going to lean back as you may see on my vertical axis i'm leaning back a little bit to make him understand i don't want him to go backwards so here's the second part of this right and as again as soon as he's completely done with 180 degree turn i relax everything breathe in and we're going to do it one more time just you know just as a demonstration here the turns on the forehands are traditionally written to start with next to the fence and the horse always turns the head to the fence the reason that is is that it prohibits the horse to think that we want him to go forward when we use our leg so again right leg goes back right shoulder goes back little flexion and i'm going to start my vibrating right leg stay very centered above coolie in my own vertical axis and come so very good a little bit more and there it is and then i relax my leg again so and that's pretty much it and it looks probably a little bit easier than it than it ultimately is in the beginning horses have a tendency to step forward and backward or they swoosh around really quickly um you know just be stick to your to your what you want the horse to understand which is we want to stay stationary we want just to swivel on the front end we want to, the horse's hind end the haunches to go step by step by step around his front yes you're a good boy <laughs> and you know that's that's pretty much it and it's a it's a fabulous exercise later on you can do it out in the open space but to start with you know the fence will always help the horse understand that you don't want him to go forward when you engage and one other thing that um, i would also say is try not to cluck clucking is usually used as a or kissing is you know those are those little sound commands that we use for trot and canter and they're not helpful in a stationary um, fairly stationary exercise like this okay so much for this for today i thank you so much happy riding <laughs> thank you coolie <laughs> so.